Man, I'm hungry. Oh, oh wait, it's review time. Let's go, JTB review. Hey guys, what's going on? It's John from JTB Metal 123 here. And um, I just want to talk to you guys really quick. Um, we're, uh, we're going to review the Avenged Sevenfold record called Nightmare. So let's get this party started. All right. It was released July 27th, 2010. Um, you know, it, it was, uh, it was, um, you know, it was done in the past in Phantom Studios. Um, a little over an hour and that's coming in at 66 minutes and it's still on Warner Brother label. And, um, Mike, um, Alonzo, or Alonzo, no, I'm not really sure how to say his name, but he produced it, and, um, which is definitely cool. Um, I really like this record a lot, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Number one thing that I knew from the get-go is I really like the album art on here. I dug the cover, you know, it's... A little bit better than the fucking, you know, the skull with the wings and shit. Way better fucking cool cover, and I'm digging it. Songwriting has improved a hell of a lot. Um, lyrics are a lot better as well. Another thing that I really did notice about that is it's definitely a lot fucking better. Um, every song sounds unique and different is another thing I remembered, which is amazing, because you really don't find a lot of bands that do that anymore. But with this one, it's definitely fucking there. I mean, every song it is unique and different in its own little way. Um, it definitely is. Um, another thing is, um, every time I hear this record, I, uh, you know, I'm always going to think about the Rev. Um, the Rev put in, uh, I think, like a quarter of the songs, and he, he uh, recorded them before he passed, which is sad. Um, you know the Rev was a really cool guy, and I really dug him. Um, he was one. Of, he was one of the cool drummers that I I, I always seemed to like. Um, you know he, he kind of played with um, kind of a technicality. You know he kind of played just a little bit of technical, a little bit of fast, a little bit of rhythm, and he was kind of just everywhere. But he was always really really good. Kind of reminded me of a little Joey Jordison. You know not really, but you know he kind of just had that flow to him. You know he he always was just killing it on the drums every time I saw him, and um, you know the last good song that I really liked of his um, was um, a little piece of heaven. And I, I I really I really did like that song, and um, he ended up dying from an enlarged heart taking drugs, and um, you know it's honestly really sad because he was a cool cool dude. And um, so every time I listen to this album, I, I will always think of him. And um, rest in peace, you know, rest in peace, the Rev, man, because he was definitely a cool dude. Uh, moving on, um, you know, we got to move on from that. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold, when they were writing this, they, they had a purpose writing this, and it was for the Rev. And, you know, you can definitely tell that, you know, they were definitely going somewhere with this record, and it definitely shows. Um, another thing was, is that uh, I, I really like, um, the choice of Mike Portnoy. Um, obviously everyone knows him from Dream Theater. But, you know, I kind of think with the whole Avenged Sevenfold fill-in, I, I kind of think he, uh, he got a new, um, set of fans. I think he got a younger version of fans that he didn't have with Dream Theater. I believe he got to showcase his talent with a new younger band and um i i thought he was fucking great in event sevenfold another reason why i really like nightmare was because of mike portnoy and i thought he was a great choice overall i uh i think it's a great record but it still does have its flaws it's a big improvement from their previous record but there's still very little bass that that you hear on here it's it's ridiculous that they don't give Johnny Christ, any room to breathe. It's just, it's it's insane. Um, so, you know, I'm going to rate this, uh, you know, I'm going to rate this one at, at about a, I'm going to at about an 8.5, guys. You know, I don't think it's really an 8. I don't really think it's a 9. So we're going to, we're going to go with an in-between score. Um, I definitely believe it's a little bit better than an 8. So we're going to go with an 8.5. 
And uh, before we go, I kind of want to do a moment of silence for the Rev, um, you know, because, you know, he was a great drummer and, you know, he deserves our respect. Um, and uh, he definitely deserves everything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end this with a moment of silence for the Rev out of respect for him, his family, his bandmates, and his life. So um, thank you guys for watching this review, and um, I will see you guys on the next one. So a um, moment of silence, please. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Alright guys, I will see you on the next review. Goodbye.